What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another banger today, guys, on the top 10 sneakers for summer 2019. Under $200. Guys, quick announcement we're doing a giveaway now live on the Jordan 14 Reverse Ferrari, right here, as well as the Jordan 1 Gym Red that's back there. Check it out. I will link down below in the description the video to the giveaway. Go join in, try it out, check it out, and the winner shall be number one. So you guys know that I normally do these top 10 lists each and every season. I do $200, I do $100. If you guys want to see a $100 top 10 sneakers, feel free to hit that like button, comment down below, and let me know that you guys want to see that because I usually do those around the same time when school's back. So we'll say that for a little bit later, maybe in a couple, like in a month or two. But let me know if you guys wanna see it. Maybe I just do one specifically for summer shoes. I, I don't know. You let me know. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video, man. Number 10. Coming in at number 10, guys, is the Reebok Instant Fury OG Citron, Citron Classic, man. These things retail, though, for $180. So if you ask me, it is a little high, and you hype beast out there aren't gonna wanna spend $180 unless it's a pair of Jordans or Adidas. But for these Reeboks, these are classics. They're OG colorway, and they just feel great on feet. They have the pump feature. You pump these things up. You got a lot of air, a lot of cushion, a great feeling on the foot, but the colorway is just what makes this thing pop. It's a great shoe to wear in the summertime. You can usually get these for below retail. If not, you can get other colorways for below retail on the Reebok Instant Pump Furies. But for me, for this specific colorway, this is my favorite out of the bunch. And when I speak on these shoes and these models, just look at the models that I'm talking about, not the specific colorway, because this is my favorite colorway for the sneaker. However, I still will put this as a top 10 sneaker. The model itself at number 10 for 2019, being under $200, the Reebok Instant Fury OG. Next up is the Puma RSX, and this is the MTV collaboration. We've seen numerous colorways of these drop. From the original Puma RSX toys, the Pico joints, you got some mango joints, and now we got the MTV collaboration, which is one of my favorites. Shout out to Puma for sending this over. They also sent over the beats that go with them, and these things, I've been rocking these things like crazy, man, you know, just, just do my thug thizzle. But I like this colorway in particular because it gets the summer vibes. It has a lot of pop to it. Gives me those California feeling, that California love into it. And it's that lime with that pink and it makes the thing stink like Link Link. I love these shoes overall. The colorway, everything about it. These things retail for $110. I could be wrong. If not, I'll make sure to fact check myself down below. But $110, a great shoe, very comfortable, nice style. Overall, just a very great sneaker, and you know I'm on the Puma train at the end of the day. I love what they're doing, and just keep bringing them bangers back to back, Puma, because I'm all here for it. Next up is the Nike Blazer. Now, we have the Nike Blazer Low. The Blazers in general right now, they're popping. They're popping. Peak Panther pussy popping, you feel what I'm saying? We have here, though, the Earth Day Blazer Low, and this is the low version, $80 retail price point. Let me pull these things out. Cop these over at Nike Linux. Great vibes overall. And this goes for any blazer right now, in all honesty. You can rock any blazer in the summer. You got it for 80 bucks, that's below $100. So this would definitely make the top 10 under $100, in my opinion. I overall love this shoe, though. The blazer low, a classic sneaker, all white with the Earth Man on it. Clean, mean, got them palm trees on deck. So you're feeling the summer vibes on the shoe already. This thing is phenomenal. I love the shoe overall, and I love the blazer high, don't get me wrong. These are just a low top, so it's kind of, you know, it makes the summer feel just even more beautiful, if you ask me. But, hey, I like it. If you like it, then I love it. You feel what I'm saying? Blazer low, number eight. Next up, you guys are going to hate me for this. The reverse Ferrari Jordan 14, reverse Ferrari. These are set to release on June 22nd. That's this upcoming Saturday. And I know you guys are going to hate me for this, but, uh... I just love this colorway. I mean, the colorway itself pops, pops, pop, that cool J, baby, pop, 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 the cool J, pop, pop, that cool J, baby, like that, that's how it pops. I love this shoe overall, the colorway. I know a lot of you guys are not liking it because it doesn't have to sway, but trust me, the leather on these boys are phenomenal. And if you have not checked out the review, go and check the review out, ASAP Rocky, because these shoes are dope. I love them, I like them, I love them, I love them, I like them, you feel what I'm saying? So. At the end of the day, if you don't like them, it is what it is. But I want you guys to actually get these in hand and see for yourself. 
so you can make your own decision. Don't make it just based upon the video or my review. Watch my review though, because maybe it might help change your mind, but I love this shoe, and it's a great summer shoe, and a yellow ass person like me, I can make this thing rock. And I, I think you can too. Just trust in yourself, you'll be all right. Number seven. Coming in at number six is the Presto React. Now I have here the Psychedelic Lava Lamp. This one is my favorite color of the bunch so far, and I mean, geez Louise, I need to back this thing up here, because it's like the color on this thing is like, it's like too bright. Jesus, hold on, man. What the hell? All right, that's a little bit better. I, I had to, I had to turn down a little. It was just too much psychedelic going on in this shoe. But the Presto React is a new model that we've seen—a mixture of the React and the Presto. And I love this shoe. The retail on this is $120. They dropped numerous different colorways on the shoe, and I love it. And there's new, more and more colorways are coming. This shoe is kind of taking over the 270 that we saw last year. The 720. We've gotten so many colorways now, it's like kind of time that we want to see something new. However, we have the Air Max Presto, I believe, dropping, or the 270 Presto, I think what it is. The two, Air Max 270 Presto is dropping pretty soon, and I think those are going to do numbers as well. Matt. If that shoe was already released, I would have put it on this list, but it hasn't been released, so I just can't put it on this list yet. But overall, I love this shoe. $120, great budget shoe. You can find the color that you like, that suits you well. This one for me is this one that just pops like crazy. Like banana pudding, saucy meat, patty biscuit, popper stoppers on my popper coppers. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, what the hell am I saying? I don't know. Number six. Another shoe that we saw released earlier in the year, the Air Max 2, and these are the Atmos collaboration. These things retail, by the way. I get my make sure I get my numbers right. These retailed for $160. The Air Max 2. You probably can get these for below retail now, or maybe if not retail, below retail, just because. These things were hyped up, but when they released, they dropped immediately. I got two pairs. One pair I got early, the other pair I got for retail. I paid more for the early pair that I ended up getting the same day it released. So I took an L on it, but I sold the other one for like retail to somebody and made a little bit of the money back, but I still took a loss at the end of the day. Besides the point, a great shoe overall. All these colors, the shoe is not for everybody, but it's definitely for me. And it's a great summertime shoe that just gives a lot of summer vibes, spring, summer vibes all around. You know how we get down, Ronald McDonald in his bitch, you know, it's just, it's, I like it. If you like the shoe, just let me know down below because a lot of people don't like the shoe. So I know I'm gonna have a lot of you guys saying you don't like it. So the people that do like it, let your voice be heard, you know, let, let's hear you out loud. I need to hear you. So yeah, guys, we made it to the top five and I forgot to mention that before showing that Air Max 2, we can actually brighten things up now. Get that, get that light skin back out. You feel me? Because we, we were kind of, we, we were kind of dark. You know what I'm saying? You had to darken that shoe up. But we are finally made it to the top five list. Air Max 2 being the number five. But number four, we had to bring it back with another banger, the Bread Four. The Bread Four hits us at the $200 price point, the same as the Reverse Ferrari. $200 right at the limit. However, this has been probably the number one shoe to release this year for a lot of people out there, especially like sneaker heads. All you Jordan heads out there, you've been waiting on this shoe. We got the Nike here on the back. And it's great that they brought this to $200 because they tried to clap our heads off for the Maroon 6s, the True Blues. They tried to crap us out for $225 on those. They finally got the idea like, look, let's not charge them extra for the Nike Air. And they did so with the Jordan 4 bread. So we got Nike Air on the back, $200. I think this is one of the best shoes released this year. And um, quality lies, it's good quality, but the shoe itself is what made this shoe so high up on the list. There's the Bread 4. Could they do it a little bit better, I feel like? Maybe so, but honestly, I never held an original pair of Jordan 4s to com compare it to know, like, is this material weaker than previous materials? As far as, like, with the 2012 version, I believe that was the last version, with the Nike, with the Jumpman, it's not that much of a difference. It's not that bad, nor worse, but... Hey man, number four, bread four. You can't do a top shoe anything without putting the Air Force One in the mix. The Air Force One comes in multiple different colorways. You have the off whites that just dropped in all vault, but I had to put the Travis Scott Air Force One in the mix. These things retail for $160. We know they're going for way more. Like I said at the end of the day, this is more so focused on the models. So any Air Force can do its justice right now, any Air Force. But for this one in particular, I had to put the Travis Scott's the sail colorway, nice clean look overall. You can rock these or you can rock a pair of all whites and be still good, you feel me? My bad, did these retail for 160? Cause I think initially, I could be wrong. Let me confirm this. Okay, so I was a little bit off. $150 for this pair in particular. Regular Air Force Ones go for 90 on the lows. I think 100 or 110 on the tops. 
So, you know, at the end of the day, you had to put the Air Force in there because there's multiple colorways. You can match them with anything. You need a black pair, you got it. You need a white pair, you got it. You need a gray pair, red pair, blue pair, green pair, pink pair, the pussy pair. They got the colorway at the end of the day when it comes to Air Force Ones. So I had to put this on the list just to show respect to the Air Force One because it's an iconic shoe, but also, is this a beautiful shoe? Call it what you want. It's the Air Force One. It's a classic. Travis Scott, you did good, man. I don't got the Jordan Ones, but I got the Air Force Ones, Travis. I'm trying. Number two, and as you saw with the Travis, I used an older shoe, and this was also an older shoe that can still stand strong when it comes to summer vibes, but the model itself also stands strong, and I had to give it to the Sean Witherspoon off the rip. I mean, this shoe still is spectacular. I haven't put enough wears in this shoe, honestly. I, I love this shoe overall. Um, damn, I got some damn chunky hair or something on here, but the Sean Witherspoons, great colorway patterns, great just mix up a color, summer vibes. You got the waves going on. You got the California vibes. The summer, sunshine, sunny state, orange state, sunny, sunny, Easter bunny. God damn, you're looking good, honey. You feel what I'm saying? On this shoe, I like the shoe overall. You know, overall, you know how I feel about this shoe. I love it. I paid a little bit of money for it. I think I paid about 500 for this, and it was a worn once shoe, and it's still in great condition, and uh, happy I added it to my collection. I could have got a pair for retail, but you know, the postman jug me. Shout out to Teddy for trying, but we get L's, man. We get L's around here. Don't ever say we don't get L's, because we get goddamn L'd a lot. But guys, Sean Witherspoon, number two. Last but not least, 2019. We're talking about 2019 shoes here. We, we got a couple of old shoes, but this one had to make the list for me, and it's a recent pickup. I haven't even laced these things up yet, but you know how I'm feeling. Nike SB Jordan 1 Laker. These things, phenomenal. My Lakers, we just got AD on the bus. We might get a little extra here. We're going to get a third person. Trust me, it ain't over. You Celtics fans, shut your pothole, okay? Worry about yourself because you're not looking good. Al, Al Hartford's gone. Kyrie's gone. They all gone. They're all gone. Don't worry about us. Don't be saying you're not getting this person. You're not getting that person. You're not getting. Nigga, who are you getting? Worry about yourself. Anyways, I love this shoe. Great colorway. Popping, panties dropping. You got the fade to the bulls. I can't wait till it starts fading. I gotta lace these things up though. I gotta put these on feet before I start talking. But overall, man, I mean, I love the shoe. I love it. I like it, I love it, and that's it. You feel me? So, um, overall, I think this shoe is phenomenal. Great shoe that dropped this year. I love what Nike did. And the other pair, the Defiance, they're dope as well, but it's hard to talk about the Defiance when you got these in your hand. You know what I'm saying? And I said I was going to sell those Defiants, which are available now in Two Wilds Closet, if I got my hands on these. And I did. So, it is what it is. I needed a pair. And I got a pair. Thank you, baby. Shout out to Sneaker Con app. Go check it out. Available now on the way. So, yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you slap a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Let me know you guys' favorite list out of anything. If you like my order, or what you would mix up, or what you would add, or what you would take out. Feel free, I want to hear you guys' opinions down below in the comment section. I've been taking like a day on, day off type of thing, but don't worry, I'm coming back full force, videos back to back like Pat Sage Jack in the building, and you know what time it is, man. It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in, checking out. I love you guys. Go check out that giveaway, man. Peace.